we're dining at the Three Broomsticks in Universal's Islands of Adventure. Let's eat. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. You're watching the Theme Park Foodies and we are at a very packed Universal Studios Orlando Resort to finally hit the trifecta. I think this is the week of trifecta since we just finished all the dining options at Animal Kingdom Lodge, but now we're finishing all the dining to try at Harry Potter World, right? All right. Yes, this is the first place we ever ate at when we went to Harry Potter World, right, Sam? It was. Oh, yeah. yeah, I remember the rotisserie chicken. Yes, so they have rotisserie chicken, ribs. There are a bit different options. I think, like you said last time, uh, the um, Diagon Alley uh, Leaky Cauldron is kind of like more traditional English food. Whereas here, you're going to be able to find those ribs, that rotisserie chicken, right? Uh, I think there's a mushroom pie. Yes. Uh, the beef. I think it's pasties. I think we were saying pasties, and then our friend Courtney was like, that is not well, how you thank say you, it. Courtney. Yeah, no, it's beef pasties. There's a lot of cool looking things and, in the menu. And um, is there a little bar in there? Hogshead. Yes. It's like connected to it. And they have a Hogshead brew in there as well. We actually just got our coffees from Starbucks. They had a graveyard, um, or graveyard cold brew. Yeah, which I, I didn't even know that was a thing. I just tried it. It's very good. Um, I'll give it a seven. Is this only um, at Universal? I've literally not, I've not heard anything about that. I think it's there. a Universal like, special for Horror Nights. Hmm. So, yeah, but no Horror Nights for us it today. It's good. Yeah, it, has, it was. Like, it has mocha flavor in it. Yeah. But it has, um, what is it, matcha? Matcha. Matcha. Yeah, to make it a little green. Foam. Make a graveyard Foam. look. Uh, there's also tonight, Sam, going to be a show on the Hogwarts Castle, the Dark Arts Show, which they only have during Halloween time. So we're hoping to catch that. We'll let you guys know what we think. We'll definitely show it on here, although it may get hit with a flag for copyright. Yeah, so I haven't seen it. any of it. Like, I haven't watched any videos, so yeah, I really have, either. like, no idea what Coming in completely blind. Yeah. If you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our dinner in the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Sam, it's Christmas. We just walked it's in. It's crazy that Halloween Horror Nights is going on next door, <laughs> and then there's a Christmas wreath up here. I love That's this. hilarious. I wish they would do this all the time. Make this like the Christmas section <laughs> and then they could be the horror section. Just so you guys know, if you see your first time at Islands of Adventure, you will bear right to head to that Hogwarts castle over there. I guess you could walk either way, but I, I feel like right is the quickest, quickest way. Oh, and Sam, look, Seuss also has Christmas stuff up as well. This is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Christmas. So the reason that the Dr. Seuss land is all dressed up because Grinchmas will be happening here very soon. Sam and I have never gotten to experience Grinchmas, so we are very excited to be able to experience it for the first time this year. All right, all right, we've made it to the to the Wizarding World, to Hogsmeade. You see the castle in the background, and it is insanely packed. I'm not it's seeing like a summer day. <laughs> I'm not seeing mobile order available for the three broomsticks, so I think sometimes they have it, so we're gonna try to uh, just walk in. Spoiler alert, there is a line, a huge one. They say it could be up to 50 minutes, so hopefully it'll be quicker than that. So update, we've been waiting about 45 minutes, uh, but right there, right next to three broomsticks, you can actually see where the Death Eaters are gonna come out. Maybe we'll get a show before we walk in, Sam. All right, we are now inside. It's close to 50 minutes, so they have some garland up. And now we're, oh man, another another huge line. We've currently now waited over an hour. I can't say I recommend. Um, the only positive I could deem from this is maybe we can catch the Death Eaters from this window, which I don't think we're gonna be able to. They do have some examples of the food as you wait. So the ribs we were talking about, there's a turkey leg, fish and chips. They also have this great feast, which feeds up to four, and I believe you can have like 17 bucks a person if uh, you wanted to get more food. Something they didn't have last time we were here, there seems to be a chocolate trifle and an apple pie. I think I'm gonna try the trifle out. I might get the shepherd's pie too. All right, one hour and a half in, and we're in our third line waiting for register four, and then we gotta wait on another line to get our food. So it's gonna be four lines, probably two hours. I don't recommend waiting this long. 
uh, for the food here. I never have in my life. All right, so after two hours, or like an hour and 40 minutes, we finally have our food and we're seated at a table with very small chairs, which I don't remember them being this small before. <laughs> I wouldn't wait two hours for like a Peter Luger steak in New York City. It was insane. Um, I've never waited this long for the food. For their understaff, I'm not blaming the staff. It's just they need more people. Yeah. They only have two registers open, so four lines. Before it gets cold. Yeah, all right. So, yeah. I think it is already cold. so let's see your thoughts on the rotisserie chicken, Sam. So I got the chicken and ribs platter. She got the rotisserie chicken. Mine comes with like a wing and some ribs. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Publix on a plastic plate. And Publix. The Mojo Chicken in Publix is good. <laughs> we get it every week. <laughs> Got hot butter beer too, fisherman's pie, and uh, a truffle trifle dessert that I didn't see last time. It's a rotisserie chicken that you can find at a theme park. I mean, it tastes good. I think two hours is just gonna make anything taste not as as good. I like the potatoes that come with it, like yeah. the skin potatoes. I just feel like mine aren't cooked as well. I actually had a bite of my potato. Six, yeah, it makes sense. All right, so I got chicken and ribs. So let, I'm gonna try the ribs out first. I also got the shepherd's flags. I haven't tried it previously. Oh, that's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. I've been eating for the last time. All of this. Good job. Is it wait two hours good? No, they, they are very good ribs. Yeah. Fall off the bone. Not fatty. I'm going to give the ribs a, a seven. You know, they are seriously. Solid yeah, it is, but I also got I've never had before. Yeah. This is the shepherd's pie. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's a very good, it's a hefty portion, which I didn't expect. Shepherd's pie reminds me of my dad. Your he dad loves shepherd's pie. He loves shepherd's pie. Yeah, at least the yeah, food stayed hot. Here. I literally, this chair is crazy to me. It's so tiny. It's like this tiny wooden chair. I feel like I'm we sitting almost down. on the floor. Just like for giants or something? I don't know. Like these are packed chairs? Yep. Like, we've had it for 18 years. And it's been it's lacking it's flavor. It tastes like, like butter is starting to put our house. That's not even a salad. Those are going to just a salad. Oh, it looks good. This is a five. It's not that great. All in all, it's really here. You know, oh. it's not worth two hours. And I think no matter what we do now, Sam, we're going to be upset. I agree, the chicken's a six. The salad's a salad. I got a little random. But, so, very disappointed. I think we got the show. Alright, so this is the chocolate trifle dessert. They didn't have this last time, right, Sam? We haven't been here in like. Uh, years. Like. I think like three years. I think longer than oh, yeah. that. I didn't bring up the interior of the restaurant either. Probably because I was so upset at how long we waited. But it is very nice. They use force perspective to create a grand sense of scale in here. You'll see kind of like stairways that go to nowhere. Um, it has a rustic type of feel, so it has a lot of gas lamps. And it has a giant fireplace, which is like a bunch of candles right above it. It does feel very grand, very nice. I just wish that the, um, the butter beer ice cream operations were ready to pass. They were a bit more well staffed. And it's like they have butter beer ice cream, but it's like you get ice cream, you have to probably eat it before your food or it's going to melt. That looks good. Yeah, whole, uh, we had the same problem with um, uh, the cauldron and the hot, uh, what's it called? Oh, yeah. It was cold. This is very good. You took our, our solid addition. A lot of good layers. That's like my half. Our living area. Like a chocolate strawberry shortcake. Yeah, full size. I like this. I think we're walking right onto the Death Eaters and we can't even get through. <laughs> Alright, I think we got the perfect spot for the Dark Arts Castle show. Hopefully later we can capture some of the Death Eaters. They do wander around after their show. 
Oh, I think it's starting. I knew then this was a different kind of magic. Very dark, very powerful. But until tonight, I had no idea just how powerful.
just in time to see the Death Eaters come out. Oh, there they are. So we're done. It was a day. It was a long day. Uh, I am very happy we got to see the Dark Arts show. I hope I was able to capture it and I hope it didn't get uh, flagged too much because I really did enjoy it. The fire, the fireworks, uh, like the little story that was weaved through, the light at the end. It's very yeah, nice. I really like the Death Eaters. Yeah. It felt like a mini horror night yeah. like in Harry Potter. I'm really happy Bob, they brought that here. You know, that was really fun. Yeah, those two experiences were great. I do enjoy Three Boomsticks, but I have to just say, like, it's not a two-hour wait restaurant, you know? I understand, like, this is your once-in-a-lifetime, once-in-a-few-years trip you really want to eat there. If you're a Harry Potter fan, yeah. I think it's worth visiting, but... If you I had a choice, like... I would definitely pick Leaky Cauldron. And I'm not just saying that because I waited three hours for Three Boomsticks. <laughs> Sam, let's ask this three question. Three hours, two hours, that was three hours. <laughs> it was an hour and, like, 50 minutes before we sat down and ate our food. So, so how long do you think the maximum wait should be for three groups? Oh my god. Maximum. Honestly, I don't think it should wait more than 30 minutes. I would say 40. I would say 40. I mean, it was an average rotisserie chicken. I do think that yeah. the corn was very good and the potato was very good. The ribs are very good too. And I liked having my hot butter beer. Yeah. The chair was super uncomfortable. So weird. So after yeah. like standing Get all that time again. and then to just have this little table yeah. with a very uncomfortable Chair They're like, like Hagrid chairs. Yeah. It was not. It was not the best time. Well themed yeah. restaurant. Beautiful restaurant. Yeah. Great atmosphere. Loved the show. Loved we were able to see it right after we ate. Uh, it was very cool. The Death Eaters came out right over there and just wandered around spooking people. But one thing though, after you do finish uh, the castle show, mm -hmm. they you have to leave that area. You can't yeah. go back into the Wizarding World. Yes. So we wanted to catch the Death Eaters. And we had to walk all the way around. Yeah, you go through Jurassic and, Park. And yeah. I was honest. It was like, I'm already annoyed. And then there was just like. Yeah, walk out over the bridge. You can keep bearing left through Jurassic Park. And you should be able to get through uh, back into Wizarding World. If that's what you want to do pretty easily. It was just very logistically. Yeah. It's a tight area. So it's a hard way to navigate. Hard, hard for cast members to navigate people over there. I understand why they do it. But it is kind of, you know, if you want to go back into the Death Eater show after, it's kind of out of the way. Just so you guys know. And if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow and this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time the videos come out, which is Wednesday? Every Wednesday at We haven't missed one yet. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. We'll see you next time. That's all, folks. I gotta say, I really do like the theming as well of, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Lost Continent. It's like, it feels like Morocco. Yeah, I, I, would, I definitely get Morocco vibes over here. Um, definitely some place they could expand upon, or I think they might be using it as a... You wanna go to Hard Ice? Can we buy a ticket? Oh, yeah, we'd have to buy a ticket. I'm not sure if they're, they're sold out. I'm just kidding, I'm going to bed. Oh, okay. I, w I want to go again one time, but I think I think we're done for Hard Nights for the season. I don't think it's tonight. <laughs> <laughs>